Hey everyone, what's going on? This is Spider Shan with another first look for the Nintendo Dads. Today we're going to be looking at Castle Renovator, um, published by Ultimate Games, so I want to thank them for the code. Um, so Castle Renovator looks like it's a house flipper, house renovator, uh, in that style of games. So, uh, let's go ahead and get started. I have not played yet, so looks like we need to do a new game. Name our kingdom. What do we want to name it here? Um, how about we'll do uh, Kingdom of uh, Nintendo. Actually, let's do Kingdom of Nindads, right? There we go. Nindad's Kingdom. Oh. Well, apparently I clicked the wrong thing. There we go. Oh, nope. What am I doing wrong? There we go. It's hard for me to tell which uh, thing I was highlighting, I guess hit down but all right no quest for now okay first steps what you see right now is your own little piece of land that you inherited from your grandfather it may not look very grand but I believe that you will turn it into a mighty kingdom soon but let's focus on what's happening now why don't you try to do your first job all right, what do I gotta do? Go to the quest board. All right. Okay, first person view. Not, not my favorite, but I, I guess it makes sense for this type of game though. Quest board, this is a quest board. I always check it out to see if anyone needs your help so you can earn some gold to take task select the offer you want and press the CR button press up button to see the jobs you've chosen all right read a ruined camp our camp was destroyed by a hurricane local folk managed to rebuild the missing roofs but the fences and palisade are still scattered all over the place it's quite a mess weren't weren't it for the work in the fields we would do the job ourselves anyway each of the villagers chipped in to hire a professional except for that cheap cheap boar stolen so there's no need to worry about the payment there's a big mess out right here do i get anything if i clean it uh, we could try to oh i don't have anything to clean it with apparently so not gonna be doing that all right how do i One, own a piece of land. I did that. Now what? Press OK. Still trying to figure out all the um, controls here. Ruin camp. Yep, I got that. But how do I? Oh, I accept it that way. All right, go there automatically. Okay. You, welcome, you just started your first job. To finish it, you have to complete all the tasks and clean up at least 80% of trash and stains. Okay. Okay, HD rumble going every time I pick something up. To repair an item, pick up a part by pressing the ZR button and then put it in the right place. Pay attention, pay special attention to the type of material you pick up. For example, small bo wood boards are suitable only for fence repairs, etc. Alright, good to know. Looks like I gotta pick this up. Maybe I gotta be a little closer. Alright.
Okay. There we go. Looks like I'm missing another one. I just don't know where it is yet. You can move up and down on a ladder by pressing the left stick. Press the X button to jump off the ladder. So do I need to go up here then? Okay. So there's lots of boards that need to be replaced up here too. I can jump. What happens if I jump down? Chop chop. To chop a tree, select X activity from the circular around you by holding the L button, then aim at the selected item and press the R button. Alright. I don't know. Just kind of clean up here. Again, some boards, so I might be able to use those to replace some of those up from where I just was. Give me a little bit on the controls. I'm um, not the greatest at first person view games without a mouse. No, Imposter Diary. Dear Diary, today I can celebrate the fourth season that I spent in this village. People still don't know that I can speak, not to mention I can read and write. Well, if I spoke, they were. They perhaps wouldn't even understand. I'm still trying to repair my machine, but I need Calaxian crystals, and my radar shows no crystals in the vicinity. Good thing I managed to fix the radar itself. I can't move the machine without being noticed, so I guess the only option is to bury it well and hike to find the crystals. I'm glad people have accepted me with no problems, and leaving them will be difficult, but I need to go back. Well, okay. That's different. Um, I wasn't expecting like a time travel or uh, something like similar to that here. Um, type uh, storyline with this, but okay. So I found found the other um, found the other uh, pillar here. I just gotta remember where that was. Not this way, apparently. Over here, over here, over here. All right, paired the warehouse. Let's see what goes here. Stoyan, I am a wizard. Maybe I'll make myself clear by spelling it out. I need M-O-N-E-Y money. I won't cast any spells before you pay me in advance. It's not that I am afraid you will run away without paying, because then I'll track you in a blink of an eye. It's just the policy that I have to stick to no matter what. Besides, if anything goes south, I want to be sure that I'm paid for the efforts. Say the whole village gets accidentally wiped out beyond existence. What then? Do you know how much it costs to upkeep a mage tower? You've seen mine, so you can imagine. I have a standard to live up to. Anyway, dealing with a hurricane is no problem. However, I cannot assure you where all the debris will go away. I can assure you where all the debris will go away. Since you want to become a bailiff, you should keep that in mind because it'll be you who will be responsible for rebuilding the village. By the way, are you sure this is the best way to obtain power? You know I'm an actual wizard and I can do whatever you wish for. For money, of course, I would make people hate Thomas and love you straight away. 
but you're my customer, so who am I to disagree? I guess this is just your sweet dream. Uh, okay. Can I do anything with the chickens? No. I can with the hay. Okay. Five seconds. In the in the right side, there are progress bars for each type of garbage and material collected. Once they are full, a crate will appear in front of you, which must be taken to a cart, boat, or put in storage on your own land. Okay. How do I do that? I have no idea where to put that right now, so we'll come back to it. Another note. Okay. Snacks. One cup of sour flour. The Smith's barn is full of it. Two cups of a regular flour. One cup of crystal clear water. Work with filthy as well, but then you get lumps. Mix it and bake it until it's gold and smells good. This should suffice until I find a town to resupply. All right. Sure. these now can I like use the what I'm collecting to do this or do I need to um, Or do I need to find different wood? Okay, I don't. That just moves. Okay. I'm just trying to play with the controls a little bit to make sure that there's nothing that I should be doing that I. or could be doing that I'm not. I'm not seeing uh, boards for here. see here. Clean axe destroy. Oh, I don't want to destroy right now. Okay. I'm having a little hard time with the controls. But okay, here we go. Here we go. There we go. Alright. So these are the boards for the fencing. So we can do that here a minute. Oh, is there any more over here? Nope, okay. Kind of wish I could pick up more than one board at a time here, but. Okay. Oh, well, that's probably the cart over here where I have to put my, um, put the, um, put the extra, um, boxes of material, or junk that I'm picking up. Hmm, where else are we missing fences? It looks like there's seven total. Not anywhere there. Let's see. How about over here? Yep. 
There we go. Let's get to the right spot here. Okay, two more. Oops. I'll go the right way. One more. All right, we got the fence down. Um, looks like we're getting close on garbage. Still one note. Can I? Let's see here. Um, let's take care of this, I guess. You will get the corresponding number of raw materials. Remember, at the end of each mission, the crates must be placed on the wagon so you can take them with you and receive all the materials you've collected. Except for I just dropped it on the ground. There we go. Okay. So... Obviously, I do these jobs, must be, and then I can do, um, take the supplies and money I get to build up my own land in Castle area. Alright, makes sense. What's over here? Crouch. Sometimes you may have to reach a collapsed or hard to reach passage. Press the left stick to crouch. Okay, I can do that. Yeah, there's one of the treasures, okay. While exploring the world, it is worthwhile to check out even the smallest corners. In many places, there are chests or other valuable items hidden waiting to be picked up. Take care of your wealth and unlock new items by collecting the chests. All right, what's in this one? Lots of money, all right. Hope these people weren't keeping this a secret and, you know, I just took away their life savings or anything. Okay, no. I thought maybe there's another small passageway, but it was not. I don't think I can get through there. No, okay. Alright, I'm still missing a couple pieces of garbage, and then I gotta put those boards away. Here's some garbage, and some garbage. Alright, so we got the garbage. Gotta cut down the trees yet. So why don't we do the trees next? Oop. down L X how do I actually do it though oh I have to hit see okay I have to go right where they show
Okay, is that it? Or do I have to do something with the logs? Hmm. Just kind of rolling around there. I'll destroy. And do I destroy these? Nope. Okay. Maybe I gotta go back into cleanup mode. I don't. <laughs> I don't know why I suddenly have a broom, but okay. All right. Well, that's one of the trees. Okay. I don't. don't actually need the broom but I don't know how to get rid of it so we're going with it to be honest I'm a little confused some of the um, some of the control scheme here just isn't working real well for me okay where was the other tree Oh, right there. Okay. I walked right by it. Okay. Take tool. Got to get to the right spot. Chop. Now I go to go back here. Uh, looks like I, I need to take the tool, which means we're gonna have the broom. Okay, before I bring that, let's destroy this. Got to have that. All right. All right, except for now. Now, well, let me take this. I um, I don't know. Okay. Um, how do I get rid of this broom? Because now I can't pick the crate up with that with the broom. Oh, how did I do that? Might have hit B. All right, we just got to repair the palisade. I don't know if we're gonna find another chest or notes, but. We'll find out. Do I have to go bring these boards up the ladder? Because I don't see where else where they go. All right. Guess so. This seems like it could get pretty time consuming.
It's one of three, but I gotta do six. When I put it down, did, didn't it just say that? I was hoping I'd be able to do some kind of magic uh, grab there. But nope. No luck. I gotta climb this every single time. Unless I can do it from underneath. But it's not looking like it. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Nope. Nope, I gotta go up every time with one of these. Six times. Ah! So I was just say it's a one out of three still. I suppose fraction wise that works, but all right. Before we go back down, I want to see what the um, big box and stuff over here is, because we're still missing a note and a treasure chest. Destroy, destroy an arm, select, er, yeah, okay, yes, I already got that. Okay, take tool, destroy. Well, here's your other treasure chest, maybe the note is over here too. Uh, let's go back into clean mode. Okay, now we don't push B to get rid of that, okay. I see a note unless it's inside here, but it's not looking like it. More treasure. Oh, yep, there's the note. Okay, so we got this do Fuel, one bucket of clear water, a fistful of red stone ash, black dried soil, collection crystal. That should be enough to fuel my machine. Well. So I wonder if this is like a just a little fun little Easter egg or if there's really something to this that would play out in story-wise, like in a quest or something, or side quest, helping this guy start his machine, or even using the machine yourself, I don't know. It's an interesting choice in everything else that I'm trying to do. Oh, okay, I'll just go back down. Four more times. I wish it wasn't quite so clunky. Okay. To get up and down here. Yeah, two thirds now it says. So that's interesting. So it converts how many you have to do into fractions. Uh, that's kind of an interesting choice, I guess. Or equivalent fractions, I should say. All right. Find the other three pieces that need to be replaced. Not down there. It must be over here. Oop. Don't walk off the edge. <laughs> no, it's not on this palisade at all. It's over here. Should have paid closer attention. All right, go to that one first. 
zero out of one. Oh, maybe it's just, maybe it wasn't equivalent. I thought it was putting it into equal fractions, but it appears that it's actually, um, that it was just dividing the two areas, it must be. Come on. Two more times. One more time. I'm trying to figure out if if I'm missing. Oh, I guess there is. Okay, I can hold LR down to run. Oh, okay, that's that's a little better. Oop! I don't miss my ladder. All right, let's see what happens. Reward, 1,000, bonus reward, 200, carriage, 400 gold, 50 wood. All right, going back to, going back to my kingdom here, my empty kingdom. What a mess, you've completed your first task. Now you can take care of your own backyard. Press L button to display the activities and find select the cleaning activity holds the R button to clean the stains. Okay. Too much our talent tree. Okay, so it's unlockable talent tree, all right. Lights all the garbage and stains in your player for a short period of time. Sometimes things seem chaotic at the first glance. You have to focus to get the job done. Press the Y button to use a special sense. It lights up all the garbage and stains in your vicinity. Okay. Huh. Yep. What else over here? Warehouse. Behind the gate, there, there is your storage for resource crates. If you want to empty your warehouse, approach the book with warehouse records and press use. This will export the cart with crates aboard in exchange for payment. Remember, you need to wait some time before your storekeeper's horse cart comes back. All right. Well, then it looks like I got objectives here. I imagine once I finish those, I'll move on and to another village or castle or wherever um, so I think I'm gonna probably uh, end the end the recording here um, the first look um, I think there's some interesting ideas here personally um, I kind of am interested in who this wizard is who's uh, got this machine is he from the future I'm guessing um, back in time um, I don't know if that's just a one-off little little fun thing or if that's something that actually pays out long term um i would like i would have liked to see uh the controls um get fine-tuned a little bit more i'm finding them still a little bit clunky um, but i'm also not used to first person view especially without um, a mouse or a keyboard so could also be that um but uh yeah if you like house renovating type games then this might be something to keep your eye out for um and uh yeah so again i want to just thank the nintendo dads i guess for uh for uh, giving me the opportunity to this first look and for the publisher for the code so we'll see you next time for another first look video bye <laughs>